Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. Appreciate those of you who will be watching this video, the one or two of you that is. Uh, hope this video finds you in high spirits. And today I'll be talking about the new movie uh, called uh, Kill Bok Soon. It's a new Korean movie on Netflix. Uh, but before I do that, if you're a returning viewer, which probably you're not, but if you are, uh, you might see a little things a little different from this review than in the past. I'm trying to spice things up, change a little bit. Uh, where you don't see this beautiful face of mine the whole time and get jealous of it. Uh, though today I see a lot of red spots. I need a makeup artist to cover those. Uh, and if you're a first time viewer, uh, you're going to see me trying to experiment. Hopefully I can make this a little more entertaining, more, a little bit more engaging. Uh, it's my first time doing it this way, so I'm expecting it not to be perfect. But please hang in there and uh, bear with me. And hopefully you enjoy this review. And if you've already seen the movie what we're getting ready to talk about, leave some comments below. So yes, so let's get into Kill Book Soon. All right, so Kill Book Soon, yes, it's a Korean drama, uh, brand new on Netflix. And what it's about is a single mother who is at the end of her contract. She's wanting to stop this line of work. Uh, she has one little problem, though. She told her her boss man that she would no longer that she wouldn't stop killing people for money because of her daughter uh that was the stipulation of her not having to get a uh abortion uh so as she goes along here you know she's actually really lying about this you know she really is stopping uh her killing ways for the benefit of her daughter uh we see that she's a very loving mother she's raised her daughter very well her daughter clearly knows what's right and wrong uh, and she's doing excellent in school. So we do see that they have a great little mother-daughter relationship. Uh, though, they both have their own secrets in there. I guess they're kind of big in society. One is probably bigger than the other. We have the mother trying to hide the fact that she's an assassin. And we find out later on that the daughter, she's actually a lesbian. She has this same-sex uh, attraction with this girl that she likes. And neither one of them wants to know... Uh, that they have this, uh, you know, this thing that they got going on behind the scenes. Uh, so this kind of does hinder the relationship between the mother and daughter. And we get to see how they work this out uh, throughout the show. Uh, this, So they do a very well... So that, that's basically your storyline right there. Of course, you kind of know where this is going. That the mother's going to quit, sat, quit doing her job. And uh, this kind of sends a riffle through the organization. And so it's basically uh, a little bit, a tiny bit like Kill Bill, where they send assassins out to kill the mother because she's going to go away. And uh, she kind of offends the boss guy and his sister. Uh, I don't really know if the boss, if the other woman is actually the boss's sister, uh, at least not I don't think they are through blood because, you know, they get kind of physical if you uh, catch my drift there. So I don't think they're, I don't know if they're really incest or not. I don't think they are, but uh, it's just weird. I don't know if it's some kind of translation, you know, loss in translation problem there going on. Uh, but there's definitely something going on between the boss and the woman. Um, the writers did a great job of creating these characters. Uh, you got great characters. Uh, they've really got depth into them. They got great background. Uh, and because they got such great characters, I kind of feel like uh, the writers left a little bit too much on the bone when it comes to the story. Uh, it's, the story ends up being kind of shallow to me. They could have gone a lot deeper into these characters. Uh, you know, the fact that, you know, the big secret for the daughter is that she's a lesbian. Uh, I guess the Korean side, it might be a big secret. Uh, so that could be big. But I think it could have gone a little bit deeper and have a bigger secret. It would have been nice to see that since the boss guy doesn't really seem to uh, like the idea that this uh, woman has a daughter. I don't know. If I was writing it, I would have gone to like he was secretly training her daughter to be an assassin type of thing. And that was the big secret between the two. That's where I would have gone. And then eventually you could have got the organization versus the mother and daughter. I think that would have been a better story. Uh, and it could have gone deeper in other areas as well, as we don't really know who the father of the daughter is. They could have gone into that a little bit more. Um, they might have been hinting that it could have been 
it, we got two possibilities, but it's hard to say uh, what they really are, who the father is. And personally, I don't think it's either one of those two male characters that we have in this. Uh, but, you know, we don't really know why our female lead came up with the decision to keep the daughter. You know, did she love the father? And that's why we don't really know uh, about that idea. But they do do a good background on our our, our female lead on Book Soon on why she became an assassin. So they did hit that part. Uh, so a movie like this, you know, you need some big action scenes. And we do get those. You know, it starts off with one of her assassinations, uh, which is good. And it had a good fighting scene. And I uh, kind of gave us an idea of what type of character she is and what she does. Uh, but to me, I think the but I think it does kind of lack in these scenes. Uh, there's really two big uh, action scenes with, with uh, one with the boss as he goes into a bar and does his thing, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then we have her fighting these other uh, assassins and this other bar type of thing. They're both of those scenes, you get some good action. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't really nothing to talk about really you know you just your average fighting scenes uh nothing great uh another thing i think this the uh, director kind of went overboard with the filmography trying to be too cute you go like because um what i mean by that is kind of goes into like the sherlock holmes thing with robert downey jr you know how sherlock holmes in those movies he thinks about how the fight's gonna go and what they need to do what he needs to do to win you get that a couple of times in this uh, movie with her point of view uh but at the very end it goes way overboard it's just like too much uh with that before the last scene and then the final fight is kind of a disappointment kind of a letdown um and that's just my opinion. I didn't really enjoy it very much. And like I said, it was, they did so many scenario, fake fight scenes, scenarios, that when they actually did it, it was just like, um, it's like, okay, I guess, you know, it was just average. Uh, so overall, uh, if you're still here, thank you for sticking around with me, bearing with me. Uh, so on this channel here, we give three grades to our reviews. We're a very positive channel. We got highly recommend recommend and then recommend of caution of course highly recommend it's a great movie recommend it's your average movie and then recommend of caution is it's a bad movie probably more uh toward like your niche audience or it's just very terrible and if you like very terrible movies you would like this one uh so my grade for this one is this i just would recommend it it's not fantastic it's not terrible uh, you'll watch it for two hours. You'll probably enjoy yourself. Um, you won't regret watching it. Uh, but you'll leave, I'll leave you wanting like more and you'll see like this movie does have a lot of potential. Did have a lot of potential to be great. Uh, it's just that, um, uh, yeah, I had a lot of, trying to figure out the, the right words I want to say. As a, as the movie has a great potential, uh, the writers did a fantastic job. Uh, creating these characters, getting them a lot of death and stuff. I just don't think they use them very well in this story. Um, so it kind of le leaves you uh, uh, wanting more and saying that, you know, this could have been a lot better than what it was. So I'm going to say, uh, it's, I'm just going to recommend it. If you like these kind of assassin type movies, you know, it is kind of like Kill Bill, but not as good. Uh, definitely not as violent or anything like that. Uh, it does have a little touch, you know, between what a single mother would, would go through raising a daughter uh, and stuff like that. Um, but it's just your average, your average movie. Nothing to brag about, nothing really to criticize, but I think you'll enjoy it. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you, I'll see, hope you, hope it, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, so have a great day. Bye.